The Nintendo Switch. Everybody I know is after one of these. And the reason is we're in lockdown. We can't go anywhere. We want new games to play. Everybody wants to play Animal Crossing. But that's not what we're playing today. What about racing games with manly men and manly women then. In the past, I made a couple of videos talking about racing games on the Nintendo Switch, and today I've bought a bunch more, and we're gonna play them today. I have some cool ones, some cheap ones, some very cheap ones, and basically a whole mix, and we're gonna see if any of them are actually any good. Adrenaline Rush Miami Drive. And honestly, I like the art style of it straight away. This is one of the cheaper games, so don't expect anything huge, but for the most part, let's go to the garage, let's have a look, see some of the cars available, and it's gonna have text all over the car so we can't actually see. I mean, to be fair, some of these supercars look pretty cool. So I'm guessing we have money to unlock vehicles at the side there. And the other thing being a level of some kind, we've got a store option, which means, oh, coins, bonus and stuff. Let's get in. Here we go, Miami, what's the controls? I'm pressing, do I need to actually accelerate? No, I, I think I'm just steering. That's what we're doing. So it seems like we're in a chase. This guy is now matching me speed wise. Oh, I gotta take him down. Oh, it's a tutorial. Oh, we're going to get the coin. This is a really basic game. Small game indeed. One of these games, I can't quite remember which one, only cost me 89 pence. Okay, that'll be just over a dollar in the United States. So near miss. Oh, we actually get points for near misses as well. Is it just near missing cars? Boom, baby. That was a near miss. Do I have multipliers as well? So it just seems like one of those pretty basic games. Oh, I got speed up. Ah, I'm dead. That's the end. Of all things to add, potholes. Wait, it's oil slicked. God damn. I, all right, that's my score. What, am I, what do I get? I got 62. Is that enough to buy a new car? <laughs> Pick up 75 coins was the option. Oh, I can take people down. That's what you want. I was just trying to avoid them the whole damn time. Boom. Get on the other side of the road, buddy. I am missing all the coins. Roadblocks. Holy crap. <laughs> and now I've got a shield. Wait, I can smash into things now because I've got a shield. That's sick. Look at... Oh, that was close. I was worried. <laughs> I thought I was just going to go straight into something. We've got the magnet here, which means we get all the coins on the other side of the road. Perfect. I wanted that diamond thing. Well, I now think we kind of get the idea of that one. I think this is a progression menu. Okay, we're done with that one. <laughs> I'm going to say, um, no. Driving School Original is the second game here. And I have to say, this is the most interesting looking one. It looks to be more of a real attempt at a real realistic game, should I say. So we've got garage over here. So we can have a look at some of the cars. Of course, these cars are not going to be 100% real. They're going to be non-real cars, if that makes sense. We're going to go through. So we've got a bunch of Audis. I have no idea. BMWs, more Audis. There was a lot of decently nice cars, okay? I think this is a pretty... There's a decent amount of supercars as well. I saw later on. The, the size and shapes are completely all over the bloody shop. <laughs> but there are some fantastic looking cars here that I'm definitely interested in getting now we're talking we're getting some of the supercars how about some hypercars because i saw some lamborghinis on the thumbnail of this game as an sls it looks weird they just don't have, don't have badges okay we've got free ride and career let's jump into free ride first and they get to choose a map san francisco this is actually pretty cool so it seems to be at least from my initial impressions of what the game is meant to look like oh my god london it looks like we're gonna just be driving in a realistic type game okay we're here so i do think there is a cockpit view in this if i yeah and we can look around it's very laggy it's it's look it looks a lot less laggy on the screen because it's a 30 fps but let's get going here we go so um it, it does seem to try and be a more realistic driving simulator i think the best way can i drive out of this com compound or something yes i can look at that oh my god there's traffic and everything that's a stop sign we don't use stop signs, to be honest with you. I'm on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> so yeah, I think the idea is to just drive around normally. You know, like when you get bored on GTA, this is the game for you. But it's on Nintendo Switch. Why is it not starting? I think I've broken my Bugatti. Oh dear. Okay. I reset the vehicle. Bugatti, how about that? Let's jump in with the Bugatti. And let's go for San Fran. No, I want to keep doing London. A little bit less lag on this car, to be fair. Coming up to the gate. And let's try and keep going this. I don't quite know how I killed it last time. It's a stop sign. We're going to ignore it. It's a, just, it's a suggestion, right? That's how you do it. Oh, my God. Let's not crash the car as soon as we get out. Right, this Bugatti should be so fast. But no, we're, we're stuck at doing about 40 miles an hour. Come on, give me some speed, baby. 
I don't care about no speed limits. This Bugatti should be flying right now, but we ain't. <laughs> it looks like an old PSP game, to be honest. Can I just keep running red lights? Do I get police? What is going to happen for me breaking these rules? Look at this. London never looks so bloody busy. Wait, 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 wait. We cannot be doing this without protection. That's better. Now we are safe and we're flooring it. Holy crap. Now we're picking up some speed. We've got a top speed of 78 miles an hour. It has fallen off my face. And this is not somewhere we can go. Reverse, reverse. How do I get to reverse? Oh, we've got options here. So we're going to put it into a manual gearbox. Let's have a look at the controls. Maybe that's going to... No, let me let me go over to the... Oh, there's a sport button. Nice. And the gears are these. Cruise control. Oh, I've got a cruise control button. B for engine. I'll turn off stability control. Okay. <laughs> this is why... Big vehicles like this don't work in the UK. To be fair, they look like they work a lot better. I'm on the wrong side of the road. Put in sport mode. I don't know if it did anything. Can I now lose control of the vehicle? I don't think so. Let's get it. Sport mode, baby. <laughs> this is faster than the Bugatti. Why even drive a Bugatti? This is be beautiful. Look at the River Thames. It's bloody brilliant. Look at the speed. Oh. I have to say, this was the game that I spent the most on. I think it was like nine pounds. We'll jump into the career mode before we properly judge the game. It does look like we can drive literally, holy crap, we can drive anything in this game. So I think I'm going to go for something a little bit silly. Yes. And we're going to go to Tokyo for this one, starting level one. It's so big. <laughs> it's just so unnecessarily big. Right. Let's get it going. Accelerate. What do we got to do? Oh, we've got to follow this route. Can we just like ignore the rules? Oh, no. I lost some points because I didn't use the ability. I crossed the solid white line. I'm... That's a stop. Why do I need to stop? Pull to a stop here. Very nice. Where's the... How long... American lights take too long. And we're going to go to Tokyo for this one. Come on, let's go. Give me the beans. Put in sport mode. Woo! Okay, sport mode definitely does something. Can I get done for speeding? What is the speed limit in America land? And we're going to go to Tokyo for this one. I could see myself playing it. It's kind of like Euro Truck Sim. But real drive, live driving sim. I do quite like things like this. I do like driving and obeying the rules in games. I don't know why. Because in real life, I don't. <laughs> Who does? It's green. Give it the beans. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't need to use the blinker. Do I need to use the blinker? I stopped. Did I complete it? Yay! Oh, it's now night, dark, and dingy. And we're going to set off. Put it straight into sport mode. I am not driving this slow piece of poo that slowly. Okay, we've got no GPS anymore. That's really annoying. We need the GPS inside and outside the car, just in case you didn't know, game. Now they drive on the proper side in Tokyo. Oh, it's not even America, it's Tokyo! I'm a boo. They drive around in Corvettes in Tokyo, apparently. When's the light gonna change? Give it the beans. Oh, yeah. Oh, the speed limit's 70. Okay, we can pick up speed. It said it was 70 on the sign. No. We know the speed limit is now 30. I'm going to hover around that. This type of thing isn't for me. I completely lied. I wonder if we could just break all the rules and uh, still finish it. Oh, no. I, I turned the engine off. Give it the beans. Give it the beans. Oh, we can park in that spot. Park in reverse. I'll do it this way. Thank you. Too many mistakes. No, no. Now, me welcome to Liverpool today. What we're gonna do is drive a Buick Chevrolet on your Adam i I proper scouse, you know. Let's get it. Let's get some pure speed in that. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. I will stop now. But look at the speed. Oh yes, this is more like it. This is more like. This is how we want to be driving everywhere. I'm surprised it can keep loading this quick. <laughs> Need for speed. What? Ah! I don't think there's actually a reverse is my issue. It's, it's reversing back, but it's just because I'm braking. Come on! I think it's now safe to say that I can drive Bugattis. There's people! <laughs> oh, I found out you reverse. You brake and accelerate at the same time. Have I... I did I... J where's she gone? What has she done to the front of my car? <laughs> Let's get some more speed, baby. Let's see if we can... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh my... They just drop when you tap them. I am so sorry. I genuinely didn't mean to do that, but uh, yeah, this is this game. I'm not sure I would recommend spending nine pounds on it, to be completely honest, but hey, if you want to drive a not Bugatti, this is the game. This is the game I have the most hope for, Motor Rush GT. So we've got Arcade, Career, 
Let's jump into the career, have a quick go on the first one. We've got to ride three kilometers. I'm a motorbike man, Manjig, now. You know this, so we got to jump in. Oh, I expected it to look a little bit better. So you can do the tilt steering. Why is left accelerating right brake? That's not even accurate to a real bike. He's twisting his right wrist. Okay, I guess I just... Do I... Oh, wait. Oh, no, I've got to actually twist it. This would be perfect for those people that, you know, you know you're like, ah, oh, do you want to play games? And they're like, ah! Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, you think you're going to indicate, mate? This is lane filtering. This is what we do. This is what we do. We're like mates. You better get out of my way. I'm a bike. I can do what I want. Ain't no rules for me. How about a wheelie? And back down again. This is actually pretty cool. I'm liking this. This is this is how it, it seems to be to ride a bike. Just wait, Why is everyone going the same way? And there's a, there's a solid double yellow line in the middle. And for some reason, woo, they're still deciding to drive on both sides of the... Is the map moving? The map is moving. Can you see that? Picking up some proper speed now. I need I need a, a proper bike, though, to be fair. This ain't good enough. What's the distance? Oh, I gotta get three kilometers. Bit of lane filtering here and there. Oh my god, I'm dead. Everybody's ruining it. They're in my way. There's the finish line. I think I go faster if I do wheelies. <laughs> Where is the car? Doesn't matter. Mission complete. First impressions? That's honestly my favorite one so far. Go to the arcade mode now. We've got city, forest, desert, and rush hour. Go for the city because it's the only one we actually have unlocked. Hopefully that. Oh wait, we only got one. Is this the one bike we get? You have to be joking. Okay, no, it's not. Oh, I assume we're on this. We do get some really cool looking bikes. Obviously, the good ones are all a bit later on and require a lot of grinding, but. It's actually a Yamaha. It's basically a Yamaha badge there, I think. Ah, now we get to choose. Let's go for this slowly. <laughs> oh, can we choose the color of it as well? Ah, oh, yes. And we can do some upgrades as well. Not a chance on this earth. I'm spending any money on this. So as you progress through the game, it makes it so the traffic does go both ways. So it's a, a later thing in the game. I mean, this would be a great... This happens in real life. Ain't joking. I mean... People aren't as stupid as scripted AI, but I wouldn't say it's too far off, to be honest with you. Just get, I guess we get near misses, try not to crash, do some wheelies, and that's the game. I mean, I don't, it's going to take a, a long grind to actually unlock any of the super bikes in this game. So this is actually a, ge a game I would genuinely play, but I think I would more play on mobile rather than Nintendo Switch kind of a common theme here. They are cheap games. This is the final game and I know this one because I've seen it on the PlayStation as well. This game intrigues me a lot. It's called Snakey Bus. Remember that game, the snake game on your phones when you were just like Duh -duh -duh -duh. It's it's that with the bloody bus. I mean a, a very snaky bus. Oh, and you get to choose what bus you want as well. <laughs> so you got to have certain scores. We can start with just the transit bus, which is what we're going to start with and the dorm Oh, interesting. So we choose where? We're driving around. Oh, I thought like we were starting in a city or something. So not exactly. Oh, we have to pick up passengers. So that is, there is actually an objective other than trying not to hit yourself. Here's a, I thought I hit them. I thought they were in the bin. Pick up passengers by smashing through them. Perfect. The bus is full. Head to destination. I just, I think I just killed them by mistake. Where is the destination? Hello, I can't pick up any more passengers. Please mind the gap. Oh, God. I didn't realize the bus was that long. Where is it? Pick up some speed. Oh, yeah. This is the way. This is the way. We got it. We got it. In the bed. On the bed. You have arrived at your destination. This is the weirdest thing I've ever played in my life. But it's so freaking cool. This is. This reminds me of something that would be made on, like, Dreams. Oh, no. I just hit... Oh, wait. wait we can hit yourselves. Okay. So, it's not really Snake. It's not really the, the fitting music that I would expect from a game like this. This is gonna require some more uh, playing about and finding out if this is, <laughs> this is really freaking weird. We know that. Where's the destination? Holy crap, I'm actually stuck on myself. Okay, right. I'ma say the best was the bike game. I have actually just ended the game by stopping. Okay, Nintendo Switch games. Now, there are a bunch of other cool games coming to Switch Super soon. The Burnout Paradise Remaster is coming to Nintendo Switch very soon, which is just never expected that in my life. So I'm definitely going to be making content on that when that comes out. But there you go. That's an update to Nintendo Switch games in 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed. Be sure to smash like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, peace.